everybody. This is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Activist Post put out a piece, Smart Meters Uncloaked and How to Fight Back. Very interesting. It says the battle of AMI smart meters is heating up across the land. Too many utility customers are getting sick after those meters unknowingly are, are and were retrofitted to their home's utility meters. After researching the timeline on what happened either to them or their children's health, customers realized it all started after the AMI smart meters were retrofitted onto their electric, natural gas, or water utility meters. The problem is the non-thermal radiation waves AMI smart meters emits, which causes electrosmog and adverse health problems known as electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Very interesting. Now, I can tell you that smart meters are another form of an RF transmitter, okay? And a lot of people would say, well, you know, they're not putting out a lot of power. But yes, they are. Yes, they are. And it doesn't matter if they aren't in the grand scheme of things. Over time, folks, what happens is it has a cumulative effect. Just like any radiation, radio frequency is a form of radiation. And constant exposure to RF radiation causes damage over time. That's why the cell phone industry is so trying so hard to keep under wraps a lot of the reports that are surfacing now that expose, ex, uh, extended exposure to cell phones really increase your risk of cancer because they burn holes in your head. Uh, your joints can ache. I know from over 20 years in the industry and use, using uh, radios all the time and cell phones the whole nine. You know, every time I use a higher powered radio, I can tell you I key it, my joints ache. I mean, it just happens. It's a consequence of prolonged exposure to RF. And it's something that they need to be upfront with because our whole society right now is centered around RF, whether it be Wi-Fi, whether it be cell phones, whether it be ham radio, it doesn't matter. Whether it be AM, FM radio you listen to on the stereo in the car. We are flooding and just immersing ourselves in all of this radio frequency and it comes at a cost, folks. And it used to not be so bad because it was only a limited amount. You know, prior to Wi-Fi, prior to smart meters, prior to cell phones, it used to just be, you know, your AM, FM. It used to be your television signals. There really wasn't a whole heck of a lot of, of RF saturation out there. But now, I mean, it's everywhere. We just immerse ourselves in this stuff. And as time goes on, we're going to end up seeing more and more problems and the increase of cancer faster and faster as a result of this exposure to RF. This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks, but you just wait. The more research that goes into this, and it's going to have to be open source research, uh, research because the industry is going to fight like hell against this, but the more research that goes into it, the more it's going to confirm that the culture of convenience is killing us. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website over at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.